SpaceX's Starship program represents a bold leap in humanity's quest to return to the moon, blending cutting-edge engineering with ambitious timelines. At its core, the Starship Human Landing System is designed to ferry astronauts from lunar orbit to the surface and back, a critical component of NASA's Artemis program. This vision, first proposed by Elon Musk in response to NASA's 2020 call for lunar landers, showcases some of the most innovative aspects of modern spaceflight. Unlike traditional landers, Starship HLS is a massive, reusable spacecraft standing, 52 meters tall and 9 meters wide, that promises to deliver not just people, but also cargo and infrastructure for sustained lunar presence. One of the standout strengths of the Starship concept is its modular architecture, which addresses the immense challenges of deep space travel. The system relies on three key variants, the HLS itself, orbital fuel depots and tanker ships. The HLS operates solely in space and on the moon, eschewing heavy heat shields and aerodynamic surfaces to minimize mass. This design choice is ingenious as it reduces the fuel needed for missions, allowing fewer tanker launches potentially around 10, as Musk has estimated to refill the depot with cryogenic liquid oxygen and methane. These propellants are stored in insulated tanks covered with tiles that protect against micrometeoroids and thermal fluctuations, ensuring stability during extended orbital stays. This approach not only cuts costs but also enables high-frequency missions, aligning with SpaceX's goal of making space travel routine and affordable. The propulsion system further highlights Starship's innovations. Equipped with six Raptor engines for main thrust, the HLS switches to specialized mid-body landing engines about 100 meters above the lunar surface. These engines use gaseous oxygen and methane to reduce plume impingement, the disruptive exhaust blast that could scatter lunar regolith and destabilize the craft. This is a smart adaptation from Earth-based tests, where Falcon 9 boosters have perfected vertical landings. On the moon, however, deployable landing legs replace launch towers like Mechazilla, providing stability in one-sixth gravity. The transcript eloquently explains why low gravity paradoxically heightens tipping risks. Even minor lateral motion can shift the center of gravity beyond the leg's footprint. Yet, the maximum tilt angle remains consistent with Earth due to gravitational equations canceling out. A fascinating physics insight that underscores the content's educational value. Starship's development milestones add credibility to this vision. Since its first launch in 2023, the rocket has flown 10 times, achieving feats like the Super Heavy Booster's catch landing at Starbase in Texas. These rapid unscheduled disassemblies, SpaceX's humorous term for explosions, have yielded valuable data, refining re-entry and descent procedures. The upper stage has splashed down successfully in oceans paving the way for orbital insertions at 75 kilometers altitude, followed by burns to reach stable orbits. In-orbit refueling, a make-or-break technology, involves docking tankers to transfer propellants, minimizing launch weight and maximizing payload. SpaceX plans demonstrations soon, building on 2024 tests like cryogenic transfers during Flight Test 3. This progress isn't isolated. It's intertwined with NASA's broader Artemis goals. The uncrewed demonstration, originally slated for 2025, aims to validate landing, ascent, and refueling before crewed Artemis 3. The transcript defends SpaceX against delay accusations by noting the compressed timeline less than half the 8.5-year average for NASA programs. Per the 2021 Inspector General report, Compared to Apollo's six-year lander development with inflation-adjusted billions, Starship's pace is remarkable. By February 2024, life support systems were tested, and docking mechanisms with Orion spacecraft were validated, covering over 30 milestones in power, navigation, and environmental protection. What makes this narrative compelling is its emphasis on iterative innovation. SpaceX thrives on trial and error, turning failures into stepping stones. 
the vertical stacking of propellant tanks, methane denser than oxygen, maintains balance but increases height, introducing challenges on uneven terrain. Experts believe these are solvable through refinement, much like how suborbital prototypes evolved into full-stack tests. Musk's projection of an on-site Starship landing by mid-2026 fuels optimism, positioning the program as a catalyst for multiplanetary life. In essence, Starship's lunar ambitions embody the best of entrepreneurial spaceflight, reusable tech, rapid prototyping, and a focus on sustainability. By demystifying these elements, the content not only informs but inspires, reminding us that determination drives progress. As SpaceX pushes boundaries, it sets the stage for humanity's return to the moon, potentially transforming exploration forever. While the Starship human landing system embodies groundbreaking innovation, it is not without its hurdles, setbacks, and points of contention. The original transcript paints an optimistic picture of a 2026 uncrewed lunar landing paving the way for a 2027 crewed Artemis III mission, but recent developments as of October 2025 reveal a more sobering reality. NASA's Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel has issued stark warnings, estimating that the HLS could be years late for the 2027 target potentially pushing crude landings to the end of the decade or beyond. This discrepancy between SpaceX's ambitious projections and independent assessments highlights one of the most controversial aspects, the feasibility of the timeline. At the heart of these delays lies a series of technical challenges that the transcript acknowledges but arguably underplays. In-orbit refueling, for instance, remains a critical yet unproven technology. Starship must demonstrate the ability to dock with tankers in Earth orbit and transfer cryogenic propellants like liquid methane and oxygen without leaks or instability. As of now, SpaceX has conducted internal cryogenic transfers during test flights, such as Flight Test 3 in March 2024, but full ship-to-ship -ship demonstrations are still pending. Experts, including NASA's safety panel, identify this as a major bottleneck noting that failures could cascade into broader program setbacks. The transcript optimistically suggests attempts sometime next year, but with 2025 winding down, the window is narrowing, raising questions about whether SpaceX is truly on track or if the narrative glosses over risks. Orbital insertion and controlled re-entry also pose significant obstacles. Despite 10 test flights since 2023, Starship has yet to achieve a full orbital mission with a successful return to Starbase via the Mechazilla catch system. The upper stage's ocean splashdowns are progress, but surviving atmospheric re-entry from orbital velocities and during intense heat and plasma remains untested in a complete profile. Elon Musk's claim of an on-site landing by mid-2026 adds fuel to the debate. Is this realistic ambition or hype? Critics argue that the transcripts focus on milestones, like the super heavy boosters catch overlooks, the rapid unscheduled disassemblies, explosions, that have plagued early tests, potentially minimizing the engineering iteration still required. The Artemis program's broader delays exacerbate these issues. Originally eyeing 2025 for an uncrewed HLS demo and 2026 for crewed landing, NASA officially pushed Artemis III to no earlier than 2027 in December 2024, citing development hurdles across the board, including the Space Launch System rocket and Orion capsule. The transcript defends SpaceX by referencing the 2021 NASA Inspector General report which predicted 3.4 to 4 years of delays as consistent with historical norms. However, this comparison is contentious. Apollo's six-year timeline benefited from Cold War-era funding surges, while Starship operates on a fraction of that budget amid competing priorities like Mars colonization. ASAP's recent assessment suggests the delays could exceed those projections, with the next six months of Starship launches being pivotal. 
Detractors see the content's insistence on 2026 as a realistic window as overly rosy, ignoring systemic risks like supply chain issues or regulatory hurdles from the Federal Aviation Administration. Another layer of controversy stems from the transcript's framing, particularly the title's provocative, Better Than China. This injects a nationalistic tone into what should be a collaborative scientific endeavor, potentially alienating global partners and downplaying China's rapid advancements. China's change program has already achieved sample returns from the moon's far side, with plans for a crewed landing by 2030 via the Long March 10th rocket. By implying you superiority, the content risks escalating a perceived space race, echoing Cold War rivalries rather than fostering international cooperation under the Artemis Accords. This is especially divisive given ongoing geopolitical tensions. Some view it as unnecessary jingoism that distracts from shared goals like sustainable lunar exploration. Elon Musk's central role in the narrative also sparks debate. The transcript portrays him as the key visionary, quoting his estimates on tanker launches and timelines, but this can come across as hero worship. Musk's public statements often shift promising aggressive deadlines that later slip leading to accusations of overpromising to secure funding or hype. Moreover, SpaceX's focus on Mars as the ultimate goal raises questions about resource allocation. Is the moon a mere stepping stone, potentially shortchanging HLS development? The content counters this by citing parallel progress, like 2024 docking tests with Orion and over 30 milestones in life support and navigation. Yet, skeptics argue it overlooks internal challenges, such as workforce strains or environmental concerns from frequent star-based launches, which have drawn lawsuits over ecological impacts. Stability on the lunar surface presents another technical controversy. The transcript details how starships hike driven by vertical propellant, stacking heightens tipping risks in low gravity, a valid point backed by Apollo-era experiences. However, solutions like wider landing legs or software adjustments are presented as technically solvable through iteration, which some experts deem optimistic. Uneven terrain and regolith could amplify issues, and without precursor missions, the first landing might fail spectacularly. This ties into ethical debates. Should NASA risk astronauts on an unproven platform, or opt for safer, slower alternatives like Blue Origin's Blue Moon? Ultimately, these challenges and controversies underscore the high-stakes nature of Starship's lunar push. While the transcript champions determination, the reality of delays potentially years beyond 2027 invites scrutiny of whether the program is truly revolutionary or recklessly rushed. As SpaceX navigates these waters, the coming months will test not just the hardware but the credibility of its vision. As SpaceX's Starship program navigates its technical triumphs and timeline tribulations, the future of lunar exploration hangs in a delicate balance. The transcript's core narrative rooted in optimism about a 2026 uncrewed landing serves as a springboard for broader discussions on what lies ahead. With NASA's Artemis III now eyed for no earlier than 2027, and independent assessments like those from the Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel, projecting potential delays into the late 2020s or beyond, the path forward demands adaptability. Yet, these challenges could catalyze innovations that extend far beyond the moon, reshaping humanity's multiplanetary aspirations. Looking ahead, the next six months of Starship test flights will be pivotal, as ASAP has emphasized, in determining whether the human landing system can support a crewed mission by 2027 or slip to the end of the decade. If SpaceX achieves key milestones like full orbital insertion, ship-to-ship -ship refueling, and controlled re-entries, an uncrewed lunar demo could still materialize in late 2026 or early 27, aligning with revised timelines. Elon Musk's projections, including the first Florida Starship launch from Launch Complex 39A in late 2025, suggest accelerated testing could bridge gaps.
Success here would validate the transcript's defense of iterative development, turning rapid, unscheduled disassemblies into footnotes in a story of resilience. However, persistent delays echoed in recent. Analyzes warning of years late scenarios due to unresolved issues like propellant transfers and lunar stability might force NASA to pivot. Alternatives include Blue Origin's Blue Moon Lander, which could step in for Artemis III if Starship falters, offering a more conventional, albeit less reusable, architecture. Recent X discussions highlight this tension with users debating whether SpaceX's Mars focus has sidelined HLS commitments, potentially ceding ground to competitors. NASA's options also encompass storing Artemis hardware or resequencing missions, such as flying Artemis III as an orbital test and reserving landings for Artemis IV. Emerging players like Impulse Space are proposing their own lunar architectures, capable of delivering up to three tons to the surface, which could complement or compete with Starship for sustained operations. The broader geopolitical context amplifies these prospects. The transcript's controversial better than China. Framing underscores a modern space race with NASA's 2027 goal pitted against China's 2030 crewed landing via the long March 10th. If U.S. delays mount, China could claim the next boots on the moon, shifting global prestige and resource access particularly helium-3 and rare earths in lunar regolith. This rivalry, while divisive, could spur investment, much like the Apollo era, fostering international collaborations under the Artemis Accords. X-Threads reflect this debate, with users questioning Starship's reusability claims amid ongoing tests, yet acknowledging its potential for cost-efficient, high-cadence missions. On a grander scale, Starship's impact transcends Artemis. Its reusable design featuring six Raptor engines for lunar maneuvers and orbital refueling lays groundwork for Mars colonization, as the transcript notes. Missing the 2026 Mars window might refine technologies, leading to more robust uncrewed probes or landers by 2028. Environmentally, frequent launches raise concerns but advancements in cryogenic storage and insulation could minimize orbital debris and emissions, promoting sustainable spaceflight. The program's educational ripple effects, demystifying concepts like plume impingement and gravity dynamics, inspire the next generation of engineers. Critically, the controversy's timeline optimism versus real-world hurdles, Musk-centric narratives, and nationalistic tones highlight ethical imperatives. Space exploration must prioritize safety, equity, and collaboration over hype. If Starship succeeds, it democratizes access, enabling moon bases and Mars outposts. Failure or prolonged delays might redirect funds to proven systems, slowing but steadying progress. In synthesis, the transcript strengths in technical depth and historical context, tempered by its debatable timelines, paint a future where innovation prevails through perseverance. As SpaceX iterates, the broader impact could usher in an era of routine interplanetary travel, echoing the determination that has always propelled human frontiers. Whether in 2027 or later, Starship's journey reminds us, the stars are within reach, but the path demands patience and unity.